college in Illinois. That's actually my birthplace is in Illinois. And so that was the beginning of my education there on a small farm in the Midwest near Galesburg, Illinois. Probably the most of my inspiration that I've gotten is from my father. He taught me my work ethic that on the farm, you, you get up early in the morning and you do you work until the work is done and you do whatever it takes to get the job done. And that's still pretty much the way I approach any role that I have. We had uh, soybeans and corn and um, hogs and cattle. I started teaching in El Paso and uh, that's how I started my educational career. From there, I uh, later took a job at, in the Gadsden School District in New Mexico. I had the opportunity to teach gifted education, gifted students. So every year we would study the different departments of the state government and then we would go to Santa Fe and we would interview the secretaries. And so that's how I was first introduced to the legislature. I was approached by someone to run for the seat and I ran for the seat and now it's 20 years later. 20 years in the legislature making policy, I probably made more impact the four years that I served as superintendent in the school district. What I've learned so far in my life is that life takes you to places you never anticipated. I think one of the most important things that we can build in a child as they're going through their educational career is that self-efficacy, that they believe that they can do the job, that they believe they can solve the problem. When I work with students, I, I, um, I like to talk to them about always having a dream. And you know, if, if I had my way, every student in middle school and high school would have a major and a minor because I think it's so important to tie the learning to some kind of a goal or a dream. We have to set the expectation for them and we have to build within them that ability that they can see themselves doing it. You know, I always tell kids, you know, seeing is believing. I always tell them, believing is seeing. You have to be able to see yourself in, in, at that university or um, in that position that you want, that you're striving for in your career. Thank you very much for this incredible honor and I, um, I applaud the work of Junior Achievement because it provides real life and relevant experiences for our students so that they can have a lifelong dream. And I'm very proud of the work that I've been able to do with the business community and I will say that most of what we've done in New Mexico has been done with the help and assistance of the business community and when we stand together, policymakers and business, we're unbeatable. <laughs>